On behalf of the Seattle Betsuin Buddhist Temple, the White River Buddhist Temple, and the Tacoma Buddhist Temple, welcome to today's service. My name is Leanne Nishi Wong. I am the chairperson for the Seattle Betsuin. The service today is in a different format as in weeks past due to the shelter at home edict. Each portion of the service is being conducted at a different home or location. As much information will be shown on the screen and all the service material is available on the Seattle Betsuin website under Buddhist education and service material. The family service will immediately follow beginning with the Bandana T. Sarana and the Sutra chanting of Jusege led by Reverend Katsuya Kusunoki. Our pledge will be led by Josh McKinney. The family message is given by Youth Minister's Assistant, Alex Sakamoto. The Gatha Nambutsu is arranged by Chizu Iwanaga. You may sing along to the music at home. The family service concludes and the adult service begins. Reverend Kusunoki will read the Threefold Refuge and the Adult Dharma Message will be the second part of Minister's Minds by Reverend Kusunoki and Reverend Dr. Takashi Miyagi of Tacoma. Following the Minister's Minds, Reverend Kusunoki will read On White Ashes.
Namami Davitsu, Namami Davitsu, Namami Davitsu, Namanda, Namanda, Namanda. Our pledge. Breaking out of my shell, I will share a warm smile and speak gentle words, just like the kind Buddha. Not becoming lost in my greed, anger, and ignorance, I shall think and act with an open mind, just like the calm and peaceful Buddha. Not putting myself first, I will share in the joy and sadness of others, just like the compassionate Buddha. Realizing the gift of life I have received, I shall strive to live each day to its fullest, like the Buddha who tirelessly works to liberate all. Please join me in Gasho. Namami Davutsu, Namami Davutsu, Namami Davutsu, Namami Davutsu, Namami Davutsu, Namami Davutsu. Thank you. Okay, good morning everyone. Thank you for joining us for this morning's virtual children's service that is online. Um, my name is Alex Sakamoto, and to begin today's Dharma message, please join me in Gosho. Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu, Namanda, Namanda, Namanda. Okay, so good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us online on YouTube this morning. Um, it's unfortunate that we can't join here together in person, but you know these are the circumstances that we are in today. Um, so while this message is being recorded, we are in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic that is sweeping across the world currently. During this confusing time, many of us are staying at home. We're not attending school, work, or other activities that we're usually so consumed in. Our daily lives are much different than they used to be, and many of us find ourselves confused, angry, sad, frustrated, and so many different more emotions. Since many of us are in quarantine right now in our homes, we have a lot more times on our hands, a lot more time to reflect upon our life. Recently, Dharma school teachers explained the concept of the gratitude jar. Each day you write down something that you are grateful for and you put it in the jar. Have you been doing this daily? Now, more than ever, we realize how important gratitude is in our lives. We are so grateful for so many different things that we no longer are able to experience, whether that be going to school, seeing our friends, participating in all our various sports and other activities. Personally, after this whole coronavirus pandemic started, I realized how grateful I was for my college. Who would have thought that I would miss waking up early, walking to class in the cold and dark, listening to my professor's lecture all day? As I sit in front of my laptop each day, currently listening to online courses through Zoom, I realized how grateful I was to attend these per, um, classes in person. It really was worth waking up early, walking to class in the cold. Amidst all the suffering that is currently going on in this world due to the virus, I think it is important that we also take time to see the beauty and acts of compassion that are happening around us. Communities are gathering to collect masks, gloves, and other personal protection equipment for hospital workers. People are checking in on their neighbors and elderly, making sure they have groceries and other essential supplies. Companies are working to support employees who no longer have jobs due to the coronavirus. We see in the news Microsoft is continuing to pay their hourly employees and so is Amazon. People are making sure to support local businesses. I'm sure you've seen on Facebook everyone is going out to eat. Many of us are supporting the international district businesses. Um, and not only that, our community is gathering to support these people, but around the world, pollution is significantly down in many countries. Um, pollution is down in China, the water is more clear in Italy. Can you imagine if these acts of kindness and gratitude were shown constantly and not just during this pandemic? Even though we may have been feeling sad, angry, upset, or confused over the current situation that we are facing, let us work to commit acts of kindness and see the good that people are constantly doing. Let us continue to check in on our neighbors, support local businesses, and keep in touch with one another. Um, the way of life for us, Jodo Shinshu Nembutsu followers, is simple. Let us live a life filled with gratitude and compassion towards all. To express our heartfelt gratitude and appreciation, we put our hands together in Gosho and recite Namu Amida Butsu. 
as we continue to be isolated in our homes, let us think about all the acts of gratitude that are being committed around us, and let us work to make this world a better place for all. Reverend Koshi no Gui said in his book, Zen Shin Talks, it is indeed true that we are living in a great vow of Amida Buddha. This light is always shining on us. We are living in the life and light of Amida Buddha. Please join me in Gosho. Namo Amida Butsu. 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 Thank you. At this time, please join me in the Threefold Refuge, which will be displayed on your screen. Difficult is it to receive a human form, now we are living it. Difficult is it to hear the Dharma of the Buddha, now we hear it. If we do not cross over to the truth in the present life, in what life shall we cross over? Let us with sincerity and true reverence take refuge in the three treasures of the truth. I take refuge in the Buddha. May we, together with all sentient beings, awaken to the great way of enlightenment and to the unsurpassed intent of Amida Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma. May we, together with all sentient beings, enter the storehouse of the Dharma, becoming like the wisdom ocean. I take refuge in the Sangha. May we, together with all sentient beings, become units in true accord, in harmony with all things. The peerless, profound, and wondrous Dharma is rare to encounter, even in many hundreds and thousands of kalpas. Now we are privileged to hear and receive it. Let us thoroughly understand the true meaning of the Tathagata's teachings. Namo Amida Butsu, 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 Namo Amida Butsu. Okay, good morning. Uh, my name is Reverend Katsuya Kusunoki and Takashi Miyagi. So we are here at the Takuma Buddhist Temple today. Then we are doing the minds of ministers. So we we talk, we exchange what we are thinking. Uh, we exchange our thoughts today. Then this idea came from when I, you know. When I have time, I watch the YouTube channel. Then nowadays, I watch, because I like baseball, I go to the baseball YouTube channel, and sometimes the former professional baseball players, which I used to watch their play, so they talk. Then that conversation is really interesting. So that's why I thought this minister's conversation is also, I think it is more people enjoy and people feel meaningful. That's why we started this conversation. I think another um, thing is that when you look on YouTube, there's all these conversations or interviews that are taking place. And these kinds of, uh, uh, of conversations and discussions, I think, bring uh, a new perspective or a different kind of outlook on, on how we can talk about Buddhism. And so with ministers talking in a kind of more casual uh, background or setting, um, kind of gives us a chance to be a little bit more frank um, and, and to be more, um, how shall I say, approachable. Um, one of the things that came up before we were talking about uh, doing this recording is that uh, at, at the conventions and, and these, uh, at the, after the, the long day of workshops and stuff, 
people get together at the hospitality room and they drink and they have conversations together and they have really fruitful conversations and I think those conversations are are, are, are organic and uh, they just kind of they're spontaneous and and those are I think the conversations that we are trying to uh, bring forth here in, the, in, in, in these discussions here so we are here at the Takuma Buddhist Temple's Dharma School classroom yep which I just came here few times but one one thing I realized is this building is old yes yeah, very old yeah yeah <laughs> I saw there's a toilet here then the sign says uh, Fujinyo Benjo <laughs> we, nowadays in Japan we don't use the sign says Benjo yeah, yeah. we don't see that anymore right right yeah, Benjo a, I think is kind of like the equivalent to saying outhouse huh like uh, uh, it's it's an outdated word that no one says anymore. We, yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, people understand oh, what yeah, Benjo yeah, yeah. is. <laughs> probably we won't say Benjo. Or in Japanese, Japanese people may say toilet. Ah, uh, yeah, toilet. Yeah, yeah. Toilet. Yeah. <laughs> toilet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's really interesting. There's so many things in yeah. this room. Also, yeah. the background here got the history timeline of, of Buddhism in in from the beginning uh, from J in japan how it came to america oh, no, india it's here yeah uh -huh. yeah yeah wow. and then this timeline right here is the timeline of this temple it's got all the past fujinkai or bwa presidents the kaicho san the temple presidents mm -hmm. activities boy scouts and all these things so, wow yeah this is nice mm -hmm. in the, here the takoma buddhist temple but is there any other Buddhist temple around this area? One White River, that's the only other one, but the... But besides Jodo Shinshu Temple. Oh, oh in Tacoma, temple. yeah, yeah, there's a, uh, let's see, a uh, Vietnamese temple, uh, a Korean temple, um, and then there's uh, Sokagakai oh. in near T uh, Tacoma Community College or City College. That's about it that I think, yeah. Do you do, do you meet with those ministers sometimes? No, or do you yeah, do something together? You know, you know they, they might come to our album, but that's about <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. But Seattle Basin, you know, there's a only across the Pearl, mm -hmm. there's another Buddhist temple, Koyasan yeah. Buddhist temple. Yeah. And Koyasan Buddhist temple, you know, Jodo Shinshu also came from Japan, and mm -hmm. Koyasan also came from Japan. The monk minister the Koyasan also he's Japanese. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I go to visit Koyasan temple. Yeah. Then we sometimes talk just like today. Yeah. So it is really interesting because we are both Buddhist monk, Buddhist minister, but they are Koyasan. Then we are Jodo Shinshu. Mm -hmm. From Mount Hie. Yeah. They are Mount Koya. Yeah. We we are from different mountains. That's true. Yeah. Then Understanding is different, uh, understanding of Buddhism is a little bit different, but the ritual is different. Mm -hmm. One unique ritual of Koyasan Buddhist temple is, you know, like a fire yeah. ritual. They do the fire ritual. I'm thinking I go to visit Koyasan temple to see how they do those fire ritual one day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, it's, it looks really cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The one conversation between uh, Koyasan's a minister, Koyasan monk, and I, the he, Koyasan minister asked me one question, those, you know, like a fire ritual, mm -hmm. like a, a Koyasan, they do have a prayer, mm -hmm. prayer for the world, mm -hmm. world peace, prayer for the someone, uh, someone's uh, happiness, mm -hmm. but he asking me, but let, let me say in Japanese first, mm -hmm. Jodo Shinshu wa oinori shinai desu yo ne. Mm, 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 mm. Can you translate it in English? Uh, Jodo Shinshu doesn't do or participate in prayer, right? Um, so that's a something you know new to me. The question is really make me think about what prayer means, what yeah. prayer is. Yeah. Then, you know, a couple of weeks ago we had a Northwest Convention, BCA National Council meeting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then at the IBS symposium, one of the topic was mm. the prayer. Then you sure. were yeah, one yeah. of the panelists presented. Right, so right. <laughs> that 
three hours? Three yeah. hours? Yeah. yeah, three hours. Long, long symposium. Could you just summarize within one minute? <laughs> within one minute. Well, so there were three speakers that, that talked that day. And, and, and speak um, slow. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so Matsumoto, Matsumoto Sensei, Reverend Dr. David Matsumoto, who's the, uh, the dean at uh, IBS, the Institute of Buddhist Studies, which is uh, in uh, Berkeley, California, talked about this idea of uh, prayer. And um, he basically his idea was that, or his explanation was to say that prayer in the sense of petitionary prayer is something that we don't take part in. We don't, uh, we don't you know, pray for, uh, let's see, health. We don't pray for uh, being rich or striking the lottery or, uh, you know, uh, that, you know, good fortune will come our way. But prayer in the sense of this idea that we want everybody to be happy, uh, that uh, we, we have this wish and this hope for all things to be happy and uh, is, is something that we can get behind. And so he, his understanding was to say that Prayer is, if it's in this sense of not being a petitionary prayer, then we can, we can be a part of that. And so uh, that's, that's basically what was the theme of that, that symposium. And my idea, from my perspective, was to talk about the idea of, of the issue of faith, because faith has this kind of like heavy connotation to it. And how do we understand uh, Xinjing, which is a, a, a very important topic in our tradition. But basically what I, I just said was that we need to be um, uh, tolerant of other people in other religious backgrounds. And um, um, that tolerance is for us to, to be able to uh, accept other people's mind, mind, mind views and their, their ideas of what religion should be. And so uh, in a nutshell, that's what I talked about. It was really, really, yeah, really a good conversation, but mm -hmm. prayer, I think, is is a very interesting conversation, especially in this Judeo-Christian society. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Be honest, I was at the symposium, but we, you know, I was a uh, hosting site. Yeah. We are hosting all big BCA National Council meeting, ministers meeting, the Northwest Convention. I was in the room, but I was. Not there. I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My mind was some someplace else. <laughs> yeah, was, yeah. Sometimes taking a nap. Uh, I was thinking something else. Yeah, yeah, so I really, yeah. yeah. Appreciate those to summarize right, what right, you sure. did. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So then, one question came up in my mind is, the you know, prayer, prayer. The the similar words is wish. Mm -hmm. So. You know then. Usually in my download message, mm -hmm. I sometimes use the word of wish, but I avoid using the prayer. So, so what is the difference between the wish and the prayer for you? What, yeah, what do you think? Yeah. I think, you know, yeah, so the way Matsumoto Sensei put it was that we can use the word, you know, prayer, and, and Shinan, Shinan Shonin does use the word prayer in, in his letter. Uh, in one of his letters, and um, you know, in that sense, we could get behind it. But you know, I still, as a minister here in America in the twenty first century, um, it's I, I still have a very you know hesitancy uh, to use that word, mm -hmm. um, even though you know from a doctrinal standpoint, from a from a you know academic standpoint, it's it's I I see what. Uh, Matsumoto Sensei is saying, and Matsumoto Sensei, I, I'm sure, I'm positive, will will agree. He'll say the same thing. He finds it. He will probably be very hesitant to use that word. Prayer. Yeah, prayer uh -huh. as well, and because it'll just get misunderstood. It has this heavy connotation of mm. of, of of asking for things, and it's the same way in Japan too, right? Uh, like, yeah, I think so. The, yeah. maybe in Japanese, the words is negai and inori. These two are really, I think the translation of prayer is inori. Mm -hmm. The translation of wish is negai. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So in our, the, you know, my Dharma message, when I hear some other Jodo Shinshu ministers Dharma message, they use the words of negai, mm -hmm. wish, mm -hmm. but they don't use the words of inori, right. the prayer. Yeah, yeah. So prayer for me, in, but the Japanese mind of inori is 
let's, let's see, they go to the Shinto shrine, mm -hmm. then uh, they pray for, to pass the exam, mm -hmm. examination, yeah. Yeah. then, or uh, pray for someone to cure their illness, yeah. 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 Uh, to be rich. Yeah. <laughs> so these type of uh, Japanese people like it. Yeah. Yeah. So they go to Shinto shrine. They probably coerce some of the Buddhist temple too. Uh -huh. the Ko because coerce and Buddhist temple, they do have a prayer. Yeah. Right. Then actually, my sister, uh -huh. the older sister, when I was just before my, uh, how do you call it? In, New Shishiken for the yeah, uh, university entrance exam. Entrance exam. Entrance exam. Mm -hmm. Just before that, my older sister went to Shinto shrine. <laughs> <laughs> pray for yeah, my yeah. entrance exam. <laughs> then she bought a, a, a pencil. Yeah. Oh, the Shinto oh, shrine pencil. Then uh, there's a you know there's a kanji character on the pencil. Yeah, yeah. Then because she you know gave me that pencil, I yeah. took it to the. Uh, the school to take an examination. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. But those one teacher came, then he said, I cannot use pencil because there's a kanji oh. written on <laughs> kind of cheating. So cheating. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, 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 I couldn't I couldn't use that. Oh, I, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny though. Yeah, that's really yeah. Because from your sister's perspective, she wants you to do well, right? right. And so right, there's right, that right. that underlying feeling of wanting you know others to be happy and mm -hmm. to succeed right and so that that i think that feeling i think is a part that even joe the shinshu can can understand and mm -hmm. say like yeah that's animasio that 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 feeling is there yeah, you know and yeah, and yeah. i don't think it's 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 bad to kind of suppress it or say that that's wrong huh? mm -hmm. and i know that um there's this conversation that i heard one time where um uh it didn't happen to me but it happened to a minister that he said he, there was a girl who came up to him and then the girl said, you know, I received this omamori, um, this talisman um, that my friend went to a Shinto shrine or a, or a temple, a Buddhist temple in Japan and brought this, bought this and gave it to me as an omiyage. What should I do? I'm a Jodo Shinshu Buddhist mm -hmm. and we don't believe in this, right? And then the, the minister said to that girl, said, well, you should you know, uh, uh, accept it because the feeling behind it was that that person wanted you to be happy, right? And so that is something that you can receive and you should receive with gratitude. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so the girl said, oh, okay. So, um, so she accepted the, the, the gift and didn't throw it away. And I think that that feeling is kind of recognized in Joe the Shishu, mm -hmm. that feeling that oh, there's this underlying feeling of wanting each other to be happy, mm -hmm. you know. And I think that that matches in with the, the Bodhisattva ideal of, mm -hmm. of Mahayana Buddhism, mm -hmm. of, of all beings have to be uh, 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 liberated. All mm -hmm. beings are in this together. And so I think that feeling is something we can get behind. It's yeah. like a practicing dana to help support yeah, that's right. some right, other right, people, right. expressing our uh, gratitude or expressing my uh, Compassion right, to right. other uh, people. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. So, yeah. this one misunderstanding is probably some people goes to the Shinto shrine to pray for Japanese god mm -hmm. to how can I say their if they do that their dream comes true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in Jodo Shinshu, Amida Buddha is not a Buddha like that kind of right. Japanese guy, yeah, that different, yeah. you know. Our prayer, not prayer, we, our recitation of Namo Amida mm -hmm. or chanting of a sutra is more like a, we are saying, expressing our appreciation to Amida Buddha because we already received the guidance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So, the purpose of mm -hmm. those sutra chanting or recitation of Namo Amida is the different from our prayer, which right, we think. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah that's true. Oh. Yeah. But that's interesting, yeah, because, you know, it's that idea of prayer in Japan and, you know, here in, with this, again, the Judeo-Christian, heavily influenced society, when, I, idea of what prayer is, is very similar. And I think mm. it's, it's asking for 
some kind of, uh, 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 of benefit, mm -hmm. you know, right? and that, that I think is what, where Joe the Shinshu kind of doesn't, mm -hmm. you know, that Joe the Shinshu shies away from, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The prayer is one of the aspects of ego. Yeah, maybe? yeah, 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 yeah. So, the Buddhism, we deny right, right. ego, <laughs> so that's why we don't use the words of prayer probably. Right, yeah. yeah I think so, yeah. Well, this is like, Japan has got this history of uh, the symbiotic relationship between Shinto and Buddhism mm -hmm. that they are able to get along. Mm -hmm. That's very rare, I think, in, in a lot of different countries. Oh. Uh, that's a, that development is very interesting. And, uh, mm -hmm. um, you know, Shindan came along and was the first to kind of say, we don't need that, right? We don't, the, not to say that we should disparage them, mm -hmm. not to say that, you know, they're the wrong path, mm -hmm. but uh, what we, it's Mida right? Mm -hmm. It's only about Amida Buddha. Mm -hmm. And this is the central, and this is what our focus as Jodo Shinshu Buddhists mm -hmm. should be. And so we, we should kind of, you know, continue that understanding, I think, here in America too as well. But um, I don't know where I was going with that, but <laughs> I, just, I just think that that's an important point mm -hmm. as a Jodo Shinshu Buddhist, you know, living in today's society. Okay, thank you for... Uh joining these minds of ministers today thank you very much thank you very much so if you have any comments kind comments please <laughs> send us then if you also if you have any question you want us to talk please uh let us know so thank you for attending this uh, minds of ministers to conclude this uh minds of ministers please join me gosh put your hands together namo amida buts namo amida buts namo amida buts namo ま明日には鉱岩虚しく転じて通りの装いを失いぬる時は六神剣族集まって嘆き悲しめどもさらにその甲斐あるべからず
哀れというもなかなか愚かなりされば人間の儚きことは老少不浄の境になれば誰の人も早く五章の一内字を心にかけて阿弥陀仏と深く頼み参らせて念仏申すべきものなりあなかしこあなかしこ Appreciate you listening to the Dharma with us today. The temples realize that everyone is going through a tough period. Whether it be sheltering at home, being on the front lines of care and services, or losing a loved one. Reverend Kusunoki read White Ashes, which discusses one's life and those who touch ours. The sense of loss, loneliness, and of the life we all knew is pushing us in new directions. I encourage each of you to reach out, connect with others, share the Dharma, and be a friendly voice on the other end of a phone. Thank you to Reverend Kusunoki, Reverend Dr. Miyagi, Dr. Kemi Nakabayashi, Alex Sakamoto, Josh McKinney, Connor McKinney, and Matt May for producing today's service. Last week, I had asked for suggestions on what online programs you would want offered until the temple resumes public services and events. Several emails were received, and we are in the process of producing some of those videos. Even without the in person connection, a family has enrolled their child in the Dharma School so that they may receive the projects and updates that Dharma School emails provide. If you want to reach out to me, please email at chairperson at seattlebetsuin.org for questions or suggestions. The Seattle Betsuin Buddhist Temple is grateful for your dana, donations, and continued support. May you continue to be touched by the compassion of Amida Buddha. Thank you.